When Zach was recruited um, to BYU, one of the coaches at the time was Coach Pope. I was in a gym in Las Vegas during the summer recruiting period. In these tournaments, you've got all the parents, and then on one side, all the college coaches that are recruiting are, are sitting there. They're separated from everybody. Team was getting crushed in the first half. Second half, he gets it going. Hit one, two, three, four threes. They're making an incredible comeback. He hits five. He hits number six. And Zach hit a three-pointer in the corner to tie the game. And right when he hit it, I could not even control myself. I stood up right there. You're sitting with all the coaches. I lost my mind, stood up. I raised my hands. I'm like, three. I think that's illegal recruiting. Hands it over to Toulson. Back to Zach. Back for three more. Yes! He is like the hardest fighter I've ever met. So if something is hard or difficult, he'll be sad for two seconds and then clean up and say, let's go do something, like what's next? He is so hungry and driven to win right now. It's all he wants to do, he just wants to win. He wants to come play well for his guys. He does not think he's perfect. He's very humble in the sense of his skills and he's always looking to improve himself. Zach's good note isn't necessarily that I'm the leading scorer, I'm the, the leading rebounder. His is that he's done what it's take to win and contribute to the team. I served a mission in Des Moines, Iowa. It was called to serve and I had a shoulder injury and had to come home early after 10 months. Coming home was kind of hard. It was hard to, you know, manage with people who judge you and people who kind of tell you, why didn't you just stay? Why didn't you fight through it? I was able to find myself and to be able to still do the missionary work when you're not a set apart as a missionary and to be able to, you know, be the best person you can be. And I've been able to help people understand that, you know, there's people that have done this, people that have come home all the time, and you know, it isn't the worst thing in the world. You're not disappointing anyone. You know, you're just going out and doing the best you can, and you can still do that every day. And so it's been awesome and a like, life-changing experience. During that time, coming home early for my mission, I had the opportunity to meet my wife. My cousin was really good friends with one of his roommates, and she was like, you remind me of this guy, I wanna set y'all up. And I was like, I'm good, I don't really wanna date. And I guess he had gone through a lot recently and he wasn't about dating. The rest is history, and she was able to help me through hard times, and especially during that time of me coming home early and going through all that you know, stress. I could tell that there were some things going on that I didn't completely understand. I'm a very positive person, and I think just my positivity was beneficial for him. I think sometimes when we're in those dark places, we need someone to remind us that even though life's hard, we can keep going, and, and he was fine. My wife hasn't been a huge sports person growing up. She's from Austin, Texas, and was more into the arts and crafts and everything kind of with that. She's an awesome singer. Before we were even dating, Zach asked me to come to one of his basketball games. He gave me tickets to sit with us in the family section, but I did not know that this was the family section. At halftime, I get a tap on my shoulder, and it was his mom and dad were sitting behind us the whole entire time. And so I was so embarrassed. I was like, I swear, if they heard me talk about anything basketball, they're never gonna let me date their son. <laughs> they were super kind, and the next game I sat with them, and they helped me understand everything, and now I like to think that I know something about basketball. A lot more than I did, though, in that first game. They have such a love for each other that it's, I don't think it's hard to give up a little bit of what you love to bring in what the other person loves. She knows what basketball takes and what it takes to be a college basketball player and knows that I may be gone a few days and everything like traveling and she's just so supportive and it's been awesome. When I think back of Zach, I think one of my first memories is when I was coaching girls basketball 
and he'd always have a basketball in his hand, and he'd sit with me on the bench at the games. I loved going to practice with him, even though I was probably around two or three years old. I wanted to be with him. I think that's where our, you know, first bonding connection started was, you know, back at that point. My dad is my hero. He's always been kind of like my best friend. In a lot of ways, I can say he's my hero. Um, because he is, exemplifies a lot of the qualities and values that you want in life. If somebody says something to him negative about another person, he never responds back negatively. He either avoids it or he turns it into a positive. And to me, that's unique for a lot of people in today's day and age. You know, still to this day, we go and watch jazz games and we watch games on TV and I hope I can be a dad just like him. You know, I just love like how he is and how he's raised me and my family and you know he's just always been a hero of mine.